Okay, so let's work together on lab 10.1.9, user policy management. You are the IT administrator for a small corporate network. You need to configure a password policy for the domain on the Corp DC virtual server, which you can access via Hyper-V. So this is Hyper-V and this is the server that we need to access. So double click. Then it says in the instructions, in this lab, your task is to edit the default domain policy and configure the account policy settings using the following instruction. So let's access the Corp DC, double click. Once we are here, you've got the instructions down there, right? So click on tools and then go to the group policy management. Once we are here, it says go to corpnet.local, which is over here. Click on domain. There you go. Now find the default domain, which is over here. Right click with your mouse and then click on edit. All right, so once we are here, click on policies, then go to Windows settings, then go to security settings and you've got over here the account policy. So double click on account policies, double click on policy password and there you go. So let's start with the first instruction. So it says new password must be different to the previous one to the previous 10 passwords. So double click on the history and change that to 10. Apply the changes then okay. Next instruction it says, users must change password every 90 days. So let's go to password age and change that to 90. You can use the arrows, but it just takes ages. Then it says user cannot change a new password for at least 14 days. So let's double click on that and change that to 14. Okay, perfect. So now it says password must be at least 10 characters. So let's click on minimum password length and change that to 10. Then it says password must contain an upper and a lower case. So with password means the complicity, click on the box, enable it. Over here, you've got an explanation, apply and okay. So we're done with these steps. Now let's move to the account lockout, which double click over here. And it says lock the account if five incorrect passwords are entered. So click on the account lockout. and change that to five. Apply the changes and click OK. Then after a failed logon, the account has to wait 60 minutes. So click over here, change that to 60. There you go, apply and then OK. And lastly, after 10 minutes, reset the lockout. So reset over here and change it to 10 minutes. Apply the changes, then click on OK. So we're done for this lab. Let's code it and it should be 100. There you go.